So the Kim Muir Challenge Cup Handicap Chase is next in another big field for this one after a small field in the last one. And it's a three mile one furlong, 0 to 140. And the top one is Protest Song, Leon Van Rensburg. Eyes to the right, Graham Clutterbuck, Ebony Janes, Ghost Zappa, Gospel, Leon Van Rensburg, Ashton James Follis, Old Gate, Put Connor Agante, Tommy Gunn, Kevin Meenahan, Major Barris, Darren Thompson, Powerful Beast, Molly at Surfer, Eights the Fences, Joshua Sutherland, 100 Visions, Molly at Surfer, Gay Brief, Martin Leadham, James Yogi, Derek Hinton, I'm Quackers, Kevin Meenahan, Stage Fright, Graham Clutterbuck, Summertime Blues, Derek Hinton, Black Absolute, Alex Cherry, Gladriel's Elk, David Robertson, Napoleon Gray, Stu Gray, Chief Orlando, Carl Aragante, Reflect, He's a Rarity, Doug Warren, Uncle Bunjo, Obi Wan and Jenny Black, Alex Cherry. 23 of them then. And called in, it's raining again now. And we get a view from the top of the stand as we see them go off left handed. They've got two, or virtually two complete circuits. With two complete circuits, and then that little shoot that goes up towards the winning post. So it's Uncle Buns, and it's going to take them along, it would seem. They're very wide on the track, some of these with that turn. Coming up pretty much straight away. And Uncle Bunge and Chief Orlando are saving ground and are clearing the lead. With James Yogi and Ace defences also handily placed as they get to the first, which they all managed to negotiate safely. And all still on their feet. With Uncle Bunge and Chief Orlando clear by a couple of lengths. It's a water jump next, so we're all going to get over this as well because nothing ever falls at the water. And protests on the top weight is just the back marker, but a long way to go yet. In heavy conditions, of course, we'll find a few of these out. I expect we'll see a few pull-ups in this one as they take the third. And all safely over the third as well. At the fourth then, and over that one they all go. All still standing and all jumping well. Uncle Bunge in the lead. Chief Orlando second. A gap of about three lengths, then back to the first of the greys was Ebony Janes. The grey on the outside is Napoleon Grey. Between them is James Yogi, trapped in on the fences, eight to the fences. And in behind them, the first of the Alex Cherry Horses, Black Absolute, as they take the next. And all over that one, okay, as well, with eyes to the right and Gospels, the two who are now at the back. Now over number six, they go then. And they're all still on their feet, and Uncle Bunge. And Chief Orlando continue to dispute the lead. Last year's winner, Napoleon Gray, moves into third. Then comes Angst the Fences fourth with James Yogi and Ebony Janes. Old Gate Putts also making a bit of a forward move as well. A couple are still wide on the track. Ashton still quite wide as they take the next. Ashton made a mistake there as well. It's not going to do his chances a lot of good. And eyes to the right is now the back marker. Uncle Bunge and Chief Orlando set in a steady pace. It's just a little more than two miles still to travel. And they take fence number eight, and Napoleon Gray was the one that hit it that time. Wasn't a particularly good jump by the other Gray reflect. He's a rarity either. Chief Orlando and Uncle Bunge continue to dispute it. Four lengths clear of three in a line, two of whom are great. Napoleon Gray and Ebony James. Old Gate put on their outside, then comes Summertime Blue. Stage Fright's getting closer. Then Powerful Beast and Angst Defences. Gladriel's Elk is also close up as well. Looks like we're going to play Jockey Cam for a while and up this part of the track. You can see we're on Black Absolute. We'll see how tight they get some of these horses. It's a wonder we don't get more major pileups, isn't it? Stayed on Black Absolute for some time. We're about to go back. Uh, it looks like Black Absolute's been pulled up actually, so I don't know what's going on there. We've got a few funny little shots of things backwards, but Black Absolute is being pulled up. So Black Absolute's out of the race then. I hope it wasn't the weight of the jockey cam and the heavy, heavy going that pulled that one out. And we're losing another there as well. Gospels, it would appear to be the one that's pulling up now. So two out. And while all the jockey cam business was going on, we've gone on to the final circuit of the track and we're racing down towards the water jump there for the second and final time and Uncle Bunge is the leader from the two Carl Aragante horses Chief Orlando and Old Gate put and behind them is Summertime Blues Major Barris is after that one then Ebony James and Galadriel's out then Gay Brief and Ace Defences with James Yogi and Powerful Beast reflects he's a rarity he's still in mid division on quack as he's trying to creep up the rail as they take that ditch and we've lost something there something's gone Ace Defences and James Yogi have both gone at that one so four out now then 
at the 14th. And something else has gone there as well. It's Ashton this time. So Ashton's gone. And it looks like last year's winner, Napoleon Gray, is struggling in the going. Drop right back to the back. And it's Uncle Bunge still in front from Chief Orlando second. Oldgate put his three. Summertime Blues is four. And Quackers is five as they take this big ditch. And over that one, another one's down there. It looks like it might have been eyes to the right this time that's gone. Chief Orlando and Uncle Bunge now being joined by I'm Crackers. Quackers, they take the next. That's the 16th. They all got over that one. Although Jenny Black was down on her nose and now Powerful Beast has swept round the outside to take it up. So Powerful Beast is in the lead from Uncle Bunge in second. Then I'm Quackers as they race away towards the 17th fence, which is the fourth from home. And Powerful Beast is the leader. Powerful Beast lands in front from I'm Quackers. Uncle Bunge going back for another go. Then comes Chief Orlando after that one. Then Major Barris and Ebony James. Old Gate Put. Gladwell's Elks trying to get into it. Gay Bruce trying to creep into it as well. So too's Tommy Gunn. But they come down towards the third last now. Then Uncle Bunge and Powerful Beast land together on the outside. A mistake by Iron Quackers. Now Chief Orlando's trying to get back into it again. Powerful Beast being pushed along. Still plenty in with chances. Even Napoleon Gray starting to run back on again. But Oldgate puts hit the lead. Oldgate puts in front. Tommy Gunn now moves in the second. Uncle Bunge is third. Then comes 100 Visions. Gay Brief going around the outside of Ebony Jane's. Then Iron Crackers. Chief Orlando reflect. He's a rarity and Powerful Beast still trying to get into it. Napoleon Gray switches to the outside. Major Barris coming through with a run. They're in the straight. They've only got two to take. And it's Old Gate Put and 100 Visions who's come through now. Here comes Ebony James. Tommy Gunn still there fighting on Gay Brief as well. So is Major Barris. There's still plenty of chances. Napoleon Gray's running on. It's the final fence. And a mistake by the leaders left. Ebony James in the lead. Ebony James now being pressed by Tommy Gunn. Look at Napoleon Gray on the outside. Major Barris is next, but it's Ebony James still in front. Here comes Tommy Gunn. One last lunge on the inside. Half a furlong to go. Major Barris on the outside. Ebony James. Major Barris. Tommy Gunn. It's still Ebony James, but Major Barris is trying to close. But up the line. Ebony James holds on, Major Barrett is second, Napoleon Gray a brave third, Tommy Gunn fourth, and Chief Orlando after that one, and a third ball trail back to Jenny Black, but Ebony James takes it for Ghost Zapper, and it was absolutely nowhere near a length and three quarters, it was more like a short head, Ebony James the winner though, Major Barrett second for Darren Thompson, Napoleon Gray ran on again really well for third for Stu Gray, Tommy Gunn fourth for Kevin Minahan, and Oldgate Put was fifth for Carl Arrogante.